Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing, and today, uh, I've got a big one for you guys. This is something that I have really been excited about for, I would say, maybe the last like six months or so. If you follow me on my other social media platforms, you've seen me posting about this, but this is the official package that they sent over for me. Technically, technically it's built for pros, as you see there, but uh, really it's built for all, for people like you and I. So for those that are big basketball fans like I am, you often see players at games giving away their shoes, but they often take the insoles out of their shoes before they give them away, and there's a reason for that, and I'm gonna get into all of those details in just a moment, but first, Let's open this thing up. Uh, they sent me a crowbar, and um, so this is a little outside of my realm of unboxings, but you know, it's the first time for everything. So let's do it. I think this just comes out. I don't know. Let's slide this out to make this easy on everybody so uh, I don't embarrass myself here. Do I just, I've seen this in movies, but I've never actually done this myself. So do I just, oh yeah. This is pretty wild. So, I'm scared I'm gonna break something. Oh! Maybe I just pull it up here. There we go. And there you go. I hope this isn't fragile. Uh, there's a card here. Uh, Jacques, for almost 10 years, we've watched you unbox, review, and talk about every noteworthy sneaker in the world. From casual to performance, you've seen and tried them all. Very, very true. You ever notice what pro athletes do before they give the kicks away? This is just what I was talking about. They remove their insoles, but why? So this is why, actually, before I get in there, let me take this out and get this giant box off of the table. All right, put this down. What if the performance sneakers you've been trying aren't the same as what the pros have been wearing? They look the same on the outside, but they don't function and feel the same on the inside. Move is here to change that. This package isn't going to an athlete on a max deal. This is just for you. Thank you for all you do for the sneaker community. Keep it going. Thank you to the folks over at Move. So let's just open this up and see what's inside. Oh, these are cool. Little stretchy bands, like a workout. Shh, you guys can see that. And there you go. Very, very nice. So this is Move. A platform designed for game day, rooted in hoops, tested by pros, built for all. Game day insoles move, bring you the same superior comfort, injury prevention, optimal alignment, and performance advantages once reserved for only the best athletes in the world. Okay, I will read all of that, but you guys are gonna get bored. And oh yeah, those look super, super clean. So this, so there's two versions of the insoles. You guys that actually may have already seen these because Nightwing did an unboxing of these on his channel. So there's the Game Day and the Game Day Pro. Now I personally have been wearing the Game Day version and I'll tell you about those. But then there's also the Game Day Pro and I'll get into the details about which one is which. And actually they have it here at the top. So. There's three things that these are for. Injury prevention, serious comfort, and to help reduce your fatigue. So game day has a flexible base and it has a dual foam system, whereas the pro has a pro base with a pollution dual foam system. What all of that basically means is these insoles provide more comfort to the shoes that you have. Pricing wise, these are $40 a piece and these are $60 a piece and basically, I would say they add value to the shoes that you have. Not like monetary value, but they, they in a sense make your shoes better because the insoles that you get in your normal shoes are razor, razor thin. When I think about these, I think about them in two different ways. So again, there's the game day and then there's the game day pro. Uh, as I said, I've been wearing the game day version as more of like my casual wear. Uh, as you see, it has the non-slip markers here on the back so they're not going to be slipping around inside of your shoe. They have a soft layer on top for that like first initial step in comfort sort of feel. And then they have their own energy foam. They break that down into the white, purple, and then you have the black as well. Now on the rear of these is you have like an EVA cup sole almost to kind of help cup the heel of your foot into the shoe. And you can see this EVA one is 
flexible and then they have a little bit more of energy foam there on the inside for your heel. So I like to wear Chuck Taylors and Chuck Taylors are basically flat and they don't have any place for your arch. With these, they add that arch back into your shoe and give you a little bit more comfort. And that's really where I wear these. When I think about like retro sneakers or older sneakers, that's what the game day represents for me. It's what I use. Now, when it comes to performance, technically both of these are performance insoles, but the Game Day Pro is really the next step up. And when you break these down, you see that they have a very similar makeup. You have the same sort of non-slip area, you have the soft touch insole, but then these have an extra thicker, more dual density sort of foam that gives you a little bit more responsiveness and that's a little more cushioned. But then also this, piece here that protects your heel from like the midsection of your foot to the heel. This is nylon and this isn't as flexible. See this one is flexible. This one here, you lose that flexibility. So it gives you a lot more rigidity to the shoe. So if your foot is used to turning, this is going to prevent some of that to make that responsiveness when those cuts are when you're making that move from left to right or when you're jumping, this gives you that extra little snap that you won't get with this one because it's a little bit looser. Now, obviously it depends on what sport you play or what you're doing, and you may want to have that extra snap, that, that harder to bend, that little bit more rigidity than the one that is a little bit more flexible, and that all kind of depends on you and how you play your game and the sport that you play. But for me, I find that this version, the pro version, works better when I'm playing, whether that's I'm golfing, whether I'm playing basketball, or whether I'm just going for a run. Whereas with this version, which is more flexible, this is what I use for like my more casual wear that I just wear in my regular shoes. Basically, every pair of shoes that I have, I take out the insoles and I put these inside of them and it takes the comfort level of those shoes. I mean, it sounds cliche, but it takes it up to an 11. Like it makes them so much more comfortable. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at these. So to answer like the question of like, who is this for? It's for a bunch of different people. One, if you just want something that makes your shoes more comfortable, use these. But also if you're maybe a weekend baller or a, a weekend golfer or whatever it is, these will make your shoes more comfortable. If you are a little more focused on your game and you really want to take your game up to the next level, that's where the Game Day Pro comes into play. And I've actually seen them on TV because they did like this special show on Players TV. Uh, Chris Paul is an investor in the company. Dame Lillard is an investor in the company. And there are a bunch of other like athletes that are invested in this company. They're also working with college students. We've seen volleyball players. I've seen basketball players. So they're really running the gambit of who they're working with. And it really shows how well these work because they'll be able to go into all of these diverse sports and uh, people love them. So I just want to give you guys a look at them. I'm excited about them because I use them and it's something that I definitely want to share with you guys. As you know, I wouldn't tell you about it if it wasn't something that I like or something that I personally use. So I personally use these for casual, these for playing. Um, I would recommend you at least give them a try. Uh, you've heard me complain about retros and about how uncomfortable they are and about switching out the insoles. Well, this is what I've been talking about. All right, anyway, enough uh, gushing over these. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about these insoles, the Game Day or the Game Day Pro, let me know down in the comments below. As always, I'm Jacques Slade. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace. So when I use the insoles, I usually take the insoles out of my shoes and put these in. Actually, you know what? I'll just show you. Uh, shout out to Ric Flair. If you know, you know. <laughs> like these have the insoles inside of them. So I take the insoles that come with the shoe, I literally take them out and I put these inside. Now, something else cool that they do is they do these by size. It isn't like, oh, you get one size fits all and you gotta cut it out yourself. Like you don't have to do none of that. I go between 11 and 11 and a half and I have an 11 and I use that in pretty much both sizes of the shoes that I have. But again, you literally take your insoles out, you see how floppy these are and put these in. And then when you're done, 
You can take them back out and then literally you just put your insoles back in. And I guess, you know, a benefit, I guess if you're like a sneaker collector is you don't mess up the insoles that came with your shoes. You know, a lot of times these rub off really quickly and you don't have to worry about that. And especially if you have the Ric Flair version, like you don't want to mess up the Ric Flair insoles. Jet flag, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. <laughs>